will get you a shrimp. My dad's then on the end of the jetty. He says that it's super clear on the surf side, although they hadn't caught anything yet. But they're seeing a little bit more, like they're seeing big schools of mullet and they've seen a few sheep's head. You want to stick through it here or you want to try over there? On surf side? Yeah. I'm not either. That guy over there got himself a couple of big perch. Oh, we didn't go out there, get him! <laughs> Look at that, a cormorant. All those mullets said that, that's... <laughs> Disconcerting. Afternoon, guys. Uh, you mind if I ask, is this going to be like a today thing or a more permanent? Uh, uh, until further notice. notice. Gotcha. Yes, sir. Hey, appreciate what you guys do. Y'all have a good day. So, coronavirus has officially hit the Packery Channel jetty. They. They basically decided that uh, people were not six feet apart and were of a contamination risk. So they're kicking us all off the rocks. If I can figure out a way to steal all the Perry's fish, then uh, at least we'll have dinner. I went out to the end of the jetty because I'm just having a rough day. I am having a bad day today, not feeling good. It's been a rough weekend. So I get down to the end of the jetty and every single problem that could happen has happened from equipment failure to losing fish in the rocks to everything else. So with all that nonsense going on, I was in a foul mood. I was not doing a good job and I, I probably hooked into about, I would say 47 fish and I landed two. So I've been in a foul mood and I thought, you know what, I'm not going to, I'm not going to record, I'm not going to make a video of me just sitting there and being grouchy. That's why there's not a lot of video in what you're watching here. What, what did you get? Well, they're all yours, Perry. I caught two. Yeah. You can have the Spanish. 
Oh, yeah. I love Spanish mackerel. I'm good with that. Yeah, you make tuna fish out of this. Yeah. No, I, I caught the biggest ones. <laughs> I bet they just sucked up and said, I'm going to go home the prairie. I told you what <laughs> Jacob had said. In Savannah. So I rigged up this monster. Um, <laughs> this one. All, we had no bait, so I went ahead and went with artificial and a, a nice weight. And you would not be surprised that I actually got some bait. I, I would not be surprised by that. I did not catch anything, but check out my knot. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Let's look at that. Hold it very still. Hold it very still. Stop. Are you making fun of me for my not? I am not. Look at that. That is total pro. Do you not put a hashtag pro on that? Hashtag Nutty Squad. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. My other knife is in the uh, hex box. Uh, we had to stop fishing because the police came and kicked us off of the jetty. Now, here's what happened that, you know, we were all in, in far too close proximity and we were not practicing uh, social distancing the way that we needed to be doing. And we were not doing our part for, uh, you know, preventing the uh, spread of infection for the virus that shall not be named. They are absolutely right about that. Um, now, no, I don't think that uh, that is the place where things are going to spread. But this is one of those times where we need to be more, uh, more conscious of these issues. This is, right now, a generation-defining time in our lives. My generation had 9-11. Prior to that, there was the Gulf War, there was the Kennedy assassination, there was World War II, World War I, and the Korean War. Every generation has their defining moments, and what we are going through right now is a defining moment for our generation. This is a big deal. I want to say this, and I'm absolutely adamant about this, and I think this is a very important thing that needs to be said and something that we all need to help share. The police officers who came out and conducted the situation of getting us off of those rocks. I want to commend them. More so than that, we all need to be commending them. The police officers are putting their lives on the line. They are working excessively long hours and excessively stressful hours. The last thing that they want to be doing is going out to the beach and kicking people off of the rocks. But they are doing what is necessary to help prevent all of us from being statistics in this pandemic. If you are a doctor, if you are a nurse, if you are in the military, if you are a police officer or a public servant, and you are right now on the front lines of everything that is going on, and you're watching this video, I want to thank you personally. For everything that you are doing for all of us. It is tireless at times. I am sure that it is physically and emotionally draining. It is likely wearing you out. You are as stressed as the rest of us with the added stress of taking care of the rest of us. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything that you are doing for us. I cannot thank you enough. You are very, very much appreciated.